Hi, good morning. On behalf of Simplify, I'd like to welcome you all to the sixth annual Future of HR Summit and Awards. This is also the sixth year that we've partnered with the Topco Media team, and this is certainly the highlight of our calendar. I would like to thank the Topco Media team for putting together an amazing program that really speaks to the heart of what many of us are facing in these challenging times. It is events like this that are more important than ever as we attempt to navigate these unprecedented times driven by the devastating effect of the global pandemic on our organizations, our economy, our colleagues, and of course ourselves. I have to really commend the Topco Media team for delivering a world-class program in this new virtual format. Thank you again. Now, a bit of background about Simplify for those of you who might not be familiar with our organization. At Simplify, we focus on assisting companies to find top talent through our Talent Attraction Product, Careers24, one of South Africa's leading job boards, as well as effectively manage their recruitment efforts end-to-end -end, from planning to sourcing all the way to onboarding through the Simplify.hr recruitment management platform. We are trusted by some of South Africa's leading organizations to streamline their recruitment processes to make more efficient hires faster through data-driven processes and solutions. We are also proud members of the Media24 and NASPASS families, so we are South African first. Leveraging the power of online platforms to uplift audiences, in this case, candidates and companies, is in our DNA. In addition to our online talent sourcing and recruitment management platforms, we also offer consulting and training services to ensure best practice, to not only improve time to hire and deliver world-class candidate experiences, but to ensure that recruitment is compliant with the relevant labor laws and the new Puppy Act that has recently come into effect. Feel free to visit us at our virtual booth to see how we can help improve your recruitment processes and performances. I promise you that's the end of the sales pitch, so let's get on with the show. Wow, what a tough six years 2020 has been. I'm not sure about you, but boy, it's taken its toll. It seems like years since any of us have taken a meaningful break, and the end is nowhere in sight for mo most of us. I look back at the naivety of counting down those first 21 days in April, and I can only smile at my ignorance. While the pandemic has certainly caused untold economic and social devastation and the loss of too many lives too many, there are some silver linings. The Black, the Black Lives Matter movement has sparked more difficult conversations that need to be held. Many of us have taken this time for introspection, where we've realigned our priorities. And never in our lifetimes have we had this much time to bond with our families and those close to us. Closer to the topic of the conference, the concept of the nature of work is being reshaped in front of our eyes. For many of us, the idea of nine hours a day, five days a week in an office will be a thing of the past. Whether you've planned for it or not, COVID has accelerated the, di the digitization of our work workforces, driven prim primarily by the need to adopt work from home strategies. For better or for worse, Zoom and Teams have replaced the in-office meetings and contact center support is now run from the homes of our employees. The truth is that some organizations have adapted better than others. This is a consequence of means, motivation, having the right people in your organization and being able to manage and disrupt change. So if you'd indulge me, I'd like to use an analogy to highlight what to me has been one of the great success stories in adapting to the global pandemic and show why I think that this has been the success it is. Yes, Formula One. Okay, let me be transparent. I'm by all accounts a Formula One fanatic and proudly a Lewis uh, Hamilton supporter. Whether you like or understand Formula One or not, I think you will get why there's a lot to be learned from how they have adapted. Formula One is considered by many to be the ultimate team sport. Teams often have thousands of employees with a singular goal to make two cars and two drivers reach the top two steps of the podium. When the pandemic hit, their goals and aspirations did not change. The teams did not decide to throw the owners, sponsors, and ultimately the audiences that watch from the pinnacle in motorsport. And the team managers understand this and have adapted accordingly. When the season finally kicked off after a three month unplanned hiatus, it was as if it was any the cars are faster, the drivers are more competitive, and the viewing package that is delivered to the audience is slicker than ever. 
Lap records have tumbled, and there's been fantastic improvements in the technologies that the teams have delivered. Now, imagine having to iterate on complex engineering projects, working in teams of a thousand plus remotely. If you watch Formula One now, and I realize that it's an acquired taste, as a fan, you're not getting a diluted version of the sport. Save for the lack of crowds, it's as thrilling and, as, and exciting as ever. And while many other sports are still on a hiatus, Formula One is reaping the benefit of less crowded sports channels, bringing new audiences to the sport. In my mind, this, this success would not be possible without a couple of key ingredients. The first and most obvious is a clear strategy from the top. The second is the ability to mobilize the team in challenging times. The third, in my opinion, is the ability to adapt it to the situation at hand. And the last is that Formula One has truly embraced digital transformation. They clearly have an advantage on this front because they are by nature technology-driven organizations. One of the key areas that clearly needs focus in our new way of working is digital transformation. The first element of this transformation is the digitization of processes. The second is the digitalization of our organization by embracing these digital tools and technologies within our organization. Digital transformation is the outcome of digitization and digitalization, and it results in an agile organization ready to adapt to the rapid evolution of technology. My caution to all of you though, is that when you embark on your digital transformation journey, it's imperative that you put people first, whether it's your customers, your audiences, or your people within your organization. Poor implementation of technology can sometimes be, do more harm than good, especially if the experience is negative. So if we take the learnings from Formula One, even in a time of incredible change disruption, if you have a strong, if you have strong strategic objectives that can withstand external pressures, coupled with an unwavering desire to win, if you have the ability to mobilize your workforce for the common goal, if you have the ability to embrace and effectively manage the challenges that are thrown at you, and if you can successfully transform your organizations through digitization and digitalization, then there's simply no reason why you should not only survive, but thrive and come out at the other end stronger. Before I end off, if you'd like to learn more about strategies and learnings from industry leaders on digitization of HR and in particular recruitment, please feel free to join our breakaway session later today. We have a great panel, so it should be insightful. Once again, on behalf of Simplify, thanks for investing your precious time to attend the summit. The program looks phenomenal, and I'm sure that you'll find the sessions invaluable. Thank you and enjoy.